Well, Dublin Ferry Port Terminals, we're a large container terminal in the Republic of Ireland. We commenced operations in the mid-90s and since then we've been expanding uh, with the city of Dublin and uh, the country of Ireland. The camera machines that we currently use on site are manual RTGs, remote control automatic RTGs, empty container handlers and reach stackers. We commenced the uh, auto RTGs in 2017. So we took delivery in uh, Q2 and we went into automation in Q3. DFT has made the decision to uh, continue its investment program on the Auto RTG Pro and the Auto RTGs uh, with another two due in uh, Q1, Q2 2020. Well, we delivered the project in a couple of phases. The first phase was supervised automated moves. Then later now we've increased the automation level with unsupervised moves so the operator doesn't need to watch while the container is being dropped into the stack. And what this means is that they can go and operate another crane during this time. The main value is that we get the operator out of the cabin into a pleasant office environment. This of course is more safe and there are amenities around in the office for the operator to work with. It's the safety, it's the comfort for the driver, it's expanding of roles, it's uh, the reduction of training errors. At the start, when I first started learning, it was only really operating the one machine at the time, so as I progressed, the other machine came into play, but once you get the lines right in the machine, and you can operate it fairly, fairly easy. I used to operate the machines outside, and I ended up with back problems. I was out for three years with back surgery, and the only reason I'm back is because of the, the automated RTGs. Best part of my job would be to be able to come in, I can get up, talk around, chat with people, have a cup of coffee, it's a lot easier, a lot handier. I've never done anything like this before, and just operating this machine, it uh, gives me a lot of joy. We're in a situation now and we're trying to make a judgment call to say what are we going to do between 2020 and 2040 or 2045. We didn't see the standard diesel crane as being an option. Sustainability and uh, eco-efficiency is becoming very important. We want to be environmentally friendly. We want to be efficient. We commenced the operations in Belfast in 2005. So we're now in a situation where we have uh, to manage that yard on behalf of Belfast Port and in that we have chosen to go with uh, Calmar RTGs. And those Calmar RTGs will be remote control uh, and automated and they'll commence operations in 2020. My 20 years on site has been hand in glove with Calmar and that builds trust, partnership, a bit of openness where people can talk frankly and correctly uh, to try and reach and achieve the desired outcomes. I think Calmar's strengths are dedication and dedication. So if they say they're going to do something, no matter how difficult it is, we tend to see the job done.